Hey guys, it's Matt Hine from Codeware. Today we are visiting the Codeware test facility and I'm going to be showing you how we're going to improve your workflow for your inspectors. We're going to be looking at our product inspect and how we can take our models from inspect, give them to your field inspectors, collect data and bring it back. So what we're going to be doing, I've got this 12 inch standard schedule elbow uh, that we simulated. Uh, you can see here these orange dots are going to be our CMLs and I've got our thickness grid because we're going to be performing a uh, fitness for service assessment on this pipe run. Now what we can do now is with inspect, as you can see on the model, you've got your black dots representing your CMLs and you've got your grid on there. We can now program that grid into your thickness gauge. And the gauge we're going to be using today is the Olympus 45 MG. It's a great little gauge guys. I've had a lot of fun using it um, and it's uh, very versatile and pretty rugged. So what is going to happen is, let's say we've got this elbow here, uh, one of the inspections came back and uh, the point right here, C2, is below T min. So we're not sure what caused it, what the damage mechanism was, it could be a high pressure turbulent flow, it could be erosion corrosion, we're not sure, but we're going to do a part 5 fitness for service assessment on this and we're going to be looking at levels 1 and 2. So what I'm going to do is switch over to inspect and I'm actually going to uh, program that gauge with that grid so that there's no manual programming of the gauge, anything like that. Alright guys, so we just plugged the Olympus 45MG device into my laptop. Again, as you can see here, I do have my pipe run here. I'll just zoom in. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to send this grid to the device so it's programmed. So I'll just quickly right click on the metal loss, select it. Again, I set this up beforehand. I've got other videos showing you how to get this set up. But what we're going to do is go to the second screen here and in the bottom left hand corner there's a button called Thickness Gauge Interface. We're going to click on this and then the, uh, when the screen pops up you'll choose which, Olymp which Olympus model you want to select uh, to use obviously you're using the 45MG so we'll default to that. And I'm going to click on the Create Survey file on Thickness Gauge. And what this will do is it's going to communicate with the gauge and we'll load this grid onto the gauge. Okay, so it's been successfully created. So what I can do is click yes. This will also generate a survey data sheet right here. It's a PDF, very handy. If you want to print this off and take it out to the field, you can. But we'll just switch back to inspect right now. Click close. What I can do is now unplug this and I'm ready to take my measurements. All right, so I just unplugged the thickness gauge from the computer. As you can see here, I'm gonna take my measurements. Now I'm just gonna take a couple and then I'll finish this up afterwards. But We'll put the transducer on where we want to locate. And remember with the Olympus models guys, we're going to click save. Move down to our next point. Make sure we're nice and flat against it. Save that. And the last point here. All right, and I'll finish these up and then we'll take it and we'll import it back into inspect. Alright guys, so we just finished taking the measurements on the grid. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to import it back into inspect. So I've plugged the thickness gauge back into the computer and I brought up my uh, screen again that you saw earlier how I created the survey. So again, I'm going to click on the thickness gauge interface button right here. And this time I'm going to click the button import measurements from survey. I'm going to click on this. And again, inspect's going to communicate with the device. and it's asking us would you like to delete the imported files. I'm going to keep it because I want to keep this, this data on here. And click close. And as you can see on the screen, the measurements have now come in and we can run the assessment. All right, so I'm going to click OK here. Now the other thing you can see here before I click OK is you can also see the longitudinal and the circumferential plane. So you can see I've got a nice smooth uh, metal loss that's really good for what we're doing. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And we're going to run the calculations quickly. So I'll just come up here, click F3, run the inspection, and run the report. So very quickly when I'm in the field, I can click on the metal loss, come down here, as you can see from the results, 
everything's acceptable. So it passes our fitness or service assessment. And again, we've run levels one and two. And we can also check out the remaining life that I had set up earlier. So as you can see, so using the predicted flaw dimensions, we have 1.3 years remaining. So if your next scheduled shutdown is within the year, we're fine, we can continue to run this. But we now know when we have to go back and either replace or repair it. So there you have it guys. So I showed you how we can improve our workflow by using our inspect program. So to recap, we can model our componentry in inspect. Uh, in this case, we had a pipe run. We can then send that grid to the thickness gauge. So there's no manual entering on the thickness gauge at all. We can then come to the component. We can take our measurements and then we can import them back into inspect to run the assessments. Now today, again, I used a, a local metal loss example. But again, this also works for your uh, mechanical integrity points. So again, these orange dots here, you know, this is a, a pipe run, so it would be your API 570. We can also send these data points out there as well. Same thing with our vessels. So if you're doing API 510 or your 653 storage tanks, we can program those as well. So we're very versatile in helping out with the inspectors. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you guys have any questions at all, please contact sales at coder.com and we'd be happy to go over any of the uh, questions you may have.